Somehow, in the last presidential election, Joe Biden got 12 million more votes than Barack Obama, who was the second coming of Christ, as you remember. 12 million more votes. How'd that happen exactly? Well, today at the latest January 6th hearing, Liz Cheney of Wyoming explained, shut up, say a word about mail-in balloting, and you're immoral. Watch. The president understood, even before the election, that many more Biden voters had voted by mail because President Trump ignored the advice of his campaign experts and told his supporters only to vote in person. Former President Trump's plan to overturn the election relied on a sustained effort to deceive millions of Americans. But he betrayed the trust of the American people. He ignored the will of the voters. He lied to his supporters and the country. And as a result of his loss, decided to wage an attack on our democracy, an attack on the American people by trying to rob you of your voice in our democracy. Trump is bad. Thanks, Mom. New message from the Democratic Party. But what's the answer? Reassure us that the last election was on the level. No, this show trial is not reassuring anyone. This whole effort, of course, is an, is an attempt to punish anybody who challenges the reigning orthodoxy. Ryan Kelly learned that the hard way. Ryan Kelly is running for governor in Michigan. At least one poll had him leading the Republicans running for governor in Michigan. He was just arrested last week because he was at the Capitol protest on January 6th. We've been wanting to talk to him. Tonight we can. Mr. Kelly, thanks so much for coming on. Um, so just to get the factual stuff right out, did you commit a crime on January 6th? There was no crime committed, Tucker, no. Never entered the Capitol building exercising my First Amendment. Those of us that have questions about the uh, 2020 election results, they want to intimidate us and they want to threaten us. Not just me and my family, but my supporters as well. All of us that love America. So the government doesn't typically arrest leading candidates in gubernatorial races unless they have you on video accepting cash and putting it in your freezer or something, which is not the case here. Were you surprised that federal agents showed up at your home? It was definitely a surprise. I think that it's a narrative that the Democrats have been pushing because of their failed policies in regard to energy, in regard to all of the things that matter to Americans. And we see this continued left-wing agenda being pushed, and this January 6th committee, I think a lot of Americans see right through this, Tucker. They understand what the Democrats are up to, and it's not a big deal to them. They want to know what the, what the government is going to do to actually do the things that are affecting their day-to-day -day life to bring solutions to our state and to our country. And so we see just this continuation of the left pushing further left and common sense, reasonable people like myself stepping up to make sure we save our state and our country and bring relief to American families. But I mean, arresting people seems, I mean, that's a brand new frontier in American politics. From what I can tell, you weren't doing anything different. In fact, you're doing things that seem much less criminal than say Ray Epps, who has not been arrested. And there are many others who are on video standing where you're standing who are not arrested. Do you think there was a political motive here in arresting you as a candidate? Absolutely a political motive. Just 12 hours before I was arrested, Joe Biden was on Jimmy Kimmel saying that he's going to arrest his political opponents. There's no coincidence in the timing of this, Tucker. It's right in alignment with all of this political theater that the Democrats are pushing with their J6 committee. And there's, there's no coincidence here. And, you know, like you said, some of the polls are showing that I'm winning. The support has been tremendous. We see new polls now where my lead has grown substantially. And I take that as a, a sign of, you know, gratitude to my supporters for all of the things that they've stepped up and helped with. And just a reason for me to work twice as hard, get my message out there so I can serve the great people of Michigan as our next governor. So you're running. Bold. Godspeed. I'm running, yes, sir. Amen. Ryan Kelly, thank We're you. We're moving Good forward. We intend to win on January. Or, and, uh, and, oh, we still there? Yep. I appreciate it. Thank you. We, Kelly, we intend run. to win on, the, on 2nd of August and again in November, making Gretchen Whitmer a one-term governor. We'll be watching. Thank you. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.